Hi and welcome to the show! Hi and welcome to 3 Minute John! And now the news. The Asus Zenfone 6. Asus, like many other Android phone manufacturers, started making displays with notches right after Apple announced the iPhone X. Because if Apple did it, it must be okay. It's not. It will never be okay. That notch is a stain on the history of smartphones that will be hard to erase. But since then, the phone manufacturers are trying to make it disappear with motorized or sliding cameras or by making the notch as small as possible. For example, just look at this leaked video of the Asus Zenfone 6. I mean, that's way off. It looks like something that grows on you, and not in a good way. It's like a huge black zit. <laughs> the other features that can be seen in the video is a dual rear camera setup and a fingerprint sensor. Now, don't get me wrong, I like Asus products. My laptop is Asus. See? My PC monitor is Asus. I have Asus power banks. Anyway, but this design is worse than the notch. If this is the alternative to the notch, j just use the notch. Compared to this, the notch is awesome. It's the best thing that ever happened to a phone. But when I looked closely to the video with my investigator eye, I saw that the display showed the date Monday, February 26th. And that gives me hope that this is just an old prototype that will never reach production. We'll have to wait until the Mobile World Congress in February next year to see if this is truly the final product. I really hope it's not. But what do you think? Do you like it? Do you prefer this over the notch? Or do you think that this design needs a dermatologist? Leave a comment and let me know. The Nokia 9. Nine. Speaking of leaks, some 5K renders and a 360 video were posted by OnLeaks and 91 Mobiles, which have pretty good track records when it comes to reliable leaks. And the renders show the Nokia 9 with five cameras. Katema? Five cameras. Uh, yep. I don't know if you realize, but at the start of 2018, the maximum number of rear cameras on a smartphone was two. That's it, two. And now with the Samsung A9, we have four. The Nokia 9 has five of them, and at this rate, the whole back of the phone will be covered in cameras. Just like that crazy light camera that has 16 of them. On the renders, we can see the Zeiss label, meaning that just like Huawei that partnered with Leica to make the cameras, Nokia might team up with one of the leaders in the optic industry to make the best cameras. It will have under display fingerprint scanner, a 5.9 inch QHD plus display, wireless charging, a 4150 mAh battery, Snapdragon 845 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and no weird side notch. But are these rumors true? Is this phone the one that will put the Nokia name back in the top of the world's best mobile phone manufacturers? Is it gonna be a legend like this one? We'll just have to wait and see. The Samsung Galaxy F. And now let's go live to John, ladies and gentlemen, who didn't bother to come to the studio for this. Uh, John? Thank you, John, thank you. Well, I'm not there because Samsung teased this event as being the reveal of the foldable phone and they... they lied. Yeah, they just showed a prototype in the dark with all the lights turned off. It's finally here. When it's open, it's a tablet. Offering a big screen experience. Thank you. Can you imagine how ugly is that phone if they had to turn all the lights off to show it? And all the rest of the Samsung Developer Conference event were just promises. It will be great, our foldable phones will be the best, we will make history, 3 Minute John will reach 1 million subscribers by the end of this day. Nine. So they showed us that the technology is there, they can make it, probably nobody will buy it, but I still want to see it. And I know they got screwed because they wanted to be the first to release the foldable phone, but they're the second ones. Yep. Just last week, a company named Royoli released the Flex Pi, the world's first commercial foldable phone. The visible difference between the two is that the Flexi Pi display folds outwards and the Samsung prototype folds inwards and has an extra display on the front. In my personal opinion, the way they are right now, those two phones are just gateway devices. I mean, clearly this is not it. Nobody will buy these devices. But I think that in the near future, 
as the technology behind them evolves, we might see some cool gadgets that people will want to buy. But right now, this is just... just in the wind. But nevertheless, shame on you, Samsung, for teasing us with a foldable phone and not giving it to us. Just an ugly-ass prototype. Shame on you. Shame. Back to you, John. Okay, thank you, John. Did you lose weight? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Leave a comment and let me know. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember, subscribe, leave a comment below, click that little bell. I'm John, and until next time, keep it safe and secure. Cheers.